Welcome to Ballam Road Dairy Farm. This is my first ever video. Uh, I've been playing Farming Simulator for four or five years now, so I thought I'd do one of these. Um, so the idea behind this one is um, pretty simple really. We are going to grow and generate money from this map and um, there's mixed reviews about it um, I've played it a little bit obviously offline um, I quite enjoy it because it's quite a traditional farm really with um, lots of dairy farming and a little bit of arable so let's get into that and let's see um, what we're going to do I'm, I'm using uh, one times game speed um, just because I prefer it that way, um, allows you to do more each day, um, and obviously as we progress and we get bigger machinery, then then we can obviously review that. But I'll look at people's feedback and see how they feel, how realistic it is or not, um, and we'll go from there. Really, I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, any comments, any feedback, put them below. Oh, so. As with some of the gripes here, there is random stuff going on. So we've got a random floating kind of baler and you can disappear through walls. So there's a few glitches on this map, but nothing uh, nothing too bad. Um, and you kind of get used to it. Um, let's have a look at the machinery we've got. So, we've got a pickup truck uh, retriever. So my view here is, obviously we're limited money, 100 grand. Um, there is machinery we need to buy. So I think it's key here initially is to um, get rid of the items that potentially we're not gonna use immediately um, because that allows us to generate the additional cash to buy the additional machinery that we need. So, um, personally, I don't think we need a pickup or a retriever. Um, it's good money to have. So, for me, we're just going to sell them. Um, the tractors that we've got are very old. Um, apart from the first one. Um, so, we're going to be limited of what machinery we can use. They're going to be limited in terms of wear and tear that they're going to get so we're going to have to replace them at some point we've got obviously a tally handler got a trailer slurry tanker a mower animal wise so my view initially is we don't need the pro chopper that's the thing that's floating in the in the silo uh, in the manure heap in the air um so i'm going to get rid of that um partly because the sheds that i will use i will fill with straw um, from a wagon really um, transport so the start of this game um, is is essentially all your animals are outside in the fields let's see if we can show you um, and they're surviving obviously, obviously it's the land really so the, what the, the map maker has done is they have uh, replicated essentially the feeding of them out in the fields with hay um, a lot of hay uh, 350,000 there 313,000 there which allows the productivity um, to be there um, and we'll be able to obviously look at that I want to be realistic I want to bring particularly the the milk animals inside uh, for the winter um, Obviously, I live in the UK, so uh, a lot of farmers really, after October, really won't have their animals outside in terms of particularly um, milk cattle. Um, fat beast, it varies from where the area you live. Obviously, the Limousins and Angus are more bred for, for, for meat, for money. 
Um, so we may do something different there, but again, we're just gonna have to see where we get to and, and go from there. Um, let's have a look if we've got anything else. Oh, so we've got, so we start with 21,811 milk, so that's a good little bit of money. Uh, we can generate straight away, and there's quite a lot of slurry, slurry which will generate as well. So, um, for me, um, really, uh, the milk here I want to convert into um, the dairy and sell the rest in the shop. So, my initial thoughts here is um, to locate. Yeah, so my thoughts is here to locate where this little thing is. It's not very really big. Let's go and see if we can locate it around the farm. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Like I said, it's the first video that I've done. So um, if you want to give any feedback in terms of the quality of the sound. Personally, I like to keep the, uh, the volume as low as possible on um, the actual sounds of the machinery because you need to be able to hear um, the, the different kind of effects as well as me talking in the background really so um, maybe I've just opened the wrong gate there so I might be closing that one so again just building up this kind of the animals are further up the top there in the top field so um, first things for me is to one I need to locate where all the milk is because there's a decent amount of milk in this so, and it's not it wasn't in the field was it so it must be somewhere so it must be they must have um, have an amount of um, milk within the local buildings One thing, uh, one thing about this farm, um, a lot of the comments is extremely how tight the farm is. I actually think that's really um, useful and it's quite good and it's quite a good thing about the farms because a lot of the farms in the UK are relatively small farms um, and they really um, have quite tight places to work. So I think it replicates the, the marketplace of the UK uh, quite well. And it looks like there is some some milk within there. Um, so I thought it was quite realistic in the way it worked. Um, it allowed us to view how it's difficult to work in the UK in, in certain farms. Um, again, it, it will make it very difficult to have big machinery. We're not going to do much with 179,000, but... Um, it also, this tractor is all steering as well, which is actually very useful. So you just need to consider the machinery you use, and it's only really, well, that's not done very well, but um, well, what did I say? What did I say? I'm coming in the other way next time. So, uh, the first things first is I'm going to put this into here, which should allow me to generate cheese and butter, which we can sell and make the funds better initially. Let's just see. I am absolutely, I'm not normally this bad at driving, sorry, sorry guys. This tractor is going to be trashed before we even start. Well, we'll open the other gate. We're going out that way, just to be easier. The wheels look, what are the wheels doing on this tractor? The wheels are actually, look how odd that looks. That's just like, oh, if 
Right, it's set up wrong look. Well, that was good. That's why it was difficult. We've now established why. Never mind. Oh, no, there's no milk there. So the challenge here is um, initially there's obviously a decent amount of milk. Um, we would like to identify where that milk is and essentially um, have the ability to sell it. There's still 13,000 milk. This is just like a... Let's try and find this milk. Makes it really difficult. Let's do the trigger points. Where is the other trigger point? See if we can find it. This is just the important bit, just generating the this additional um, cash flow initially is uh, is there no trigger point? I would think the trigger points would be here. You wouldn't think I've played that. You would think I've actually played on this map before, wouldn't you? Um, the other thing is this sort, these sort of fields for me, um, even though they're grazing land, there's currently nothing in them. Um, part of me, I really want to be able to generate. Um, that's a really weird. Um, I want to be able to generate money. It's important. Um, we need to have a good stable supply of silage and hay for the winter months if we're going to bring all the animals in bringing the animals in in itself is going to be um a big task because the truck that we've got is only allowing us to um be able to bring i think it's eight or six or eight animals in at once which going to be a big task so it'll probably take us a day alone to bring the animals in to be honest let's see if there is any milk in here so like i said the uh, cows are up here initially um we can look to bring them in obviously uh, there's no not much here yeah so initially there's obviously um different age groups of cattle in here my view would be uh thinking ahead is to bring the younger animals in at first uh, the younger animals obviously are not producing milk so we can actually put them in a different um different pen with inside a different shed and we can then just feed them hay which is much more uh, cheaper and probably more realistic to what they would be fed in real life um, and be able to essentially go from there and say when they start producing milk we're obviously that's the point we're going to have to generate them and allow them to uh, be fed TMR um, really oh we've got some more here I missed this the first time around that wasn't very well planned so the sixth thousand liters of milk somewhere I seem to be driving better since I've uh, moved this room so uh, I'm gonna sell this to the farm shop I think it's important to keep our local produce uh, as local as possible and um, move it on to the farm shop it allows us again to Build additional funds. It kind of integrates you into the way of living. Sixteen thousand for that. 
I'll take that. Um, nice little shortcut through here. Quicker, fast delivery, low carbon footprint. I'm sure you'll love that. Eco-friendly, guys. Um, yeah, so obviously with these animals generating um, an amount of manure and um, slurry, uh, personally, I like to use that as much as possible on particularly the grassland um, to rather than fertilizer. Um, again, better for the environment, um, better than using the high nitrogen kind of fertilizers to use that sort of stuff um, I also think it's important that we um, have water for the greenhouses um, again I've got a mod on here which I'm not probably going to use initially which is where it um, auto waters so we plumb the stuff into the mains now initially that's not not what I want to do not how I want to progress but it's an option for us in the long term to to be able to to, to kind of do that so um and go from there so i believe we've also start with a field of oats is it oats or barley it's i think it's it's field 21 is certainly something I thought that would be oats. I love it when it tells you, doesn't tell you what it is. That's it's barley. I was wrong. It's barley. So we've got a field of barley um, that is ready. Uh, we've got two three, four, five, six fields of grass, seven fields of grass that are ready. Um, now, some of that will be silage, some of that will be hay. Uh, personally, um, one field of arable uh, with the straw it will generate will be okay to initially start off, but going forward with the amount of animals that we have, I'm probably going to have to convert least another one field straight away into um straw for the following year because other i feel that we may have to buy in um and then we'll be able to to kind of go from there but the important thing first is we've got to harvest the uh barley and we also need to get the grass sorted with hay and silage and fill the silo up as full as possible and go from there now um machinery wise um we're quite limited on what sh machinery we've got and the size of the machinery we can operate so clearly you've got a mower at the back my view would be initially i, th I believe but we need to buy a mower for the rear uh, for the front to go with the rear it will help speed things up immensely um and that's kind of the important piece for me to to do that i think to otherwise we're just gonna um be working the land forever really so my view is get this tractor initially straight away um into working with the newer tractor um i prefer New, this newer tractor is relatively useful it's um it's only small again it's a small farm so i'm sure everybody can appreciate that so put the mower on the back um initially and we are going to head to the farm shop and going to probably locate initially um, a mower for the front. I can start it off. I might even put a worker on it after a bit um, because I think we need to harvest the barley. So the farm shop is left outside the farm gates and it's 
essentially right at the end, before the end, there's a petrol station on the left hand side, you turn left and then it's a bit further down there and it's another left into the uh, shop and we'll be able to see how that's going to go. Let's see what we can get. Again, we, we've got, well, we've got 198,000 now. So my view is we need to spend a little bit of money on a um, front mower. That helps us just be a little bit more efficient, a bit quicker um, to get that kind of mowing. Obviously, um, we're going to have to get a tether. We're going to have to get a rower for particularly the hay. Um, obviously, the rower will also be used for the silage. Um, and I think what we need to kind of then I will probably get a forage wagon to pick it up. Um, we won't. Well, we won't be able to afford a baler at this point. Um, and obviously, for this forage wagon is quite useful for putting it into the into the silos. Um, again, the bigger the forage wagon, the less runs we're going to have to do. But I think even even the kind of but again, it, it will come down to cost. Um, so let's see what we've got. Mowers, mowers. There we go. So um, the sensible ones, probably the nine and a half thousand. Um, I'd love to get that big one, 25. Sell this one. How much is it worth? 14. So 11,000. Tell you what, we're going to sell that. Just, I know I said oh, I'm going to spend money, but. I like the shiny new things. So we're going to get a double mower for the back. We're going to work a lot of gla uh, grass. So it's going to be really useful for us to do that so early on. I'll probably regret it in about half an hour because I will run out of uh, money and have to sell things I didn't want to have to sell. But I didn't look at the horsepower. I'm assuming it's fine. I should have looked at that. That is the first schoolboy error of this episode. Yep, yep. So the bit of horsepower on the lower end, but it will be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, so this allows me to to really cut the grass much quicker. Um and go from there. One thing I like about this tractor, if, I don't know if you can hear it, is you can hear the ch of the turbo. Look. That's well cool. Interesting, interesting. So, we've got a multitude of grass fields to choose from. Um, some that we're going to make out of hay and some grass. So I think just for ease, there's one on the left hand side here. As we go back, we're going to probably start with this one um, and work on from there. My view is you don't want me to see me after really the first field mowing grass non-stop. So as we get to the fields, what I'll probably do is decide to um, just skip on and you'll join me when the field's finished really so i'm just going to park here i'm going to whip open that gate if I remember rightly it opens inwards it does and then a huge amount of traffic behind us so i'm going to swing out and swing in and try to not to damage the paintwork on my new mower without that would be nice i think we just about managed that And we'll unfold all this. So, again, I think it's an excellent purchase. Wow. 
why did the ends come down? Oh, it does. That's a bit weird, isn't it? So, this should like quite good light work. It's actually quite and quite fast. 13 miles an hour is um, a reasonable speed as well. I really need to take more care on my purchases though because um, checking the horsepower out, the speed of the implements, which is quite important in this sort of gameplay is we're going to have to do a lot of jobs. Um, there's not going to be a huge amount of time. Obviously, we can use workers. Um, we've got some part-time staff that can come in and help us when we need to, but that uses up valuable resources. So it's nice to do as much as you can yourself. Um, and just go from there really but clearly um i've already said that we may use a, um, a worker to do some mowing it might just help us initially because i really need to get that the a combine we're not going to be able to afford a combine unless there's one second hand um so we're probably going to have to rent one um but obviously uh, that comes at a cost but it's only one field, so it shouldn't shouldn't take too long. We're going to have to look at some rental equipment generally anyway until we get into a position where we can really able to earn earn decent money really and, and allow us to progress and buy equipment we need to. But again, we're probably with the size of the farm, we're not going to be able to get some significant equipment. Uh, and some big equipment because the, it's really quite tight but again representative of of I think a, a, a good place to be in terms of the nice small farm so a bit about myself um, is um, I have a little bit of background in farming um, uh, quite a lot of my family members are farmers. Um, I, I spent a lot of my childhood on my um, grandparents' farm, um, which is now my uncle's farm, and kind of been brought back into that. I have nothing to do with farming anymore. Um, I work uh, full time, so in a completely different sector. So it's quite interesting to to do a video on this. It's uh, quite enjoyable. Um, hopefully you like it again subscribe uh, please um, give us any feedback and my plan is to create as many episodes on on this ep um, thing until people think that well it's been done a bit to death and then we can maybe look at some ideas of new f new farms that we can look at and and do another play obviously you're looking at a lot of other guys and they do like survival role plays and all that kind of stuff and might get into that sort of stuff. But like I'm said, it's a new thing for me. So it might might not be enjoyable. You might not enjoy it and or I might not enjoy it. Um, it's about everybody enjoying it, isn't it? So, yeah, I, I think this is a good. This is definitely a good purchase. This uh I'm convincing myself now, really, because uh, it's a good investment. It's it's doing this field a lot faster than that little mower that we had would have done, and we've got five or six of these fields to do without even touching the grazing areas that the animals are look forward to, which we can also convert. I think this uh, these moves actually sound really good as well.
yeah, in the comments below, um, it's, I'd, like, I'd love to hear um, what maps you're you're playing on at the moment, what map, maps you like, why you like them, really, um, because understanding what you guys like as well is uh, is important. Like I said, my intention is to uh, make quite a few videos in sequence of this and release them as and when. Um, I might make more than one video at a time. I like to keep them, I think anything over really half an hour is becomes um, a bit long to watch personally. That's just from, from my experience of watching these. 20, 20, 25, 30 minutes is kind of the ideal time. So clearly when I'm making these, if I'm going to be over that kind of time, I will break them down into episodes. So sometimes if I will read your comments and it might not be the following video that I'm able to kind of reflect on what, what you've said or what you suggested and uh, go from there really. Um, so it may be a couple of episodes before, before I come back to you, but I'm sure I'd uh, like to answer as many of you as possible. Um, more the merrier. This is something I've wanted to do for, for a while and it's just getting the time to do these things. So uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes really. I guess the more people that view the generate success. And uh, if you enjoy it, then tell your friends about it. Um, should we finish this field shortly? Like I said, really don't think you guys just want me to watch me mowing grass for 20 minutes. Um, so my view here is to uh, get this field finished. Um, move on to uh, um, probably set it up in one of the fields close to the farm I'll probably just do the headlands uh, the edges of the field um, and then uh, set the worker on it whilst I uh, consider how I'm going to harvest the barley um, because that's going to generate a an amount of corn which will be very useful um, to even if we don't sell initially it'd be good to to keep hold until the price is as high as we can do obviously it just depends on just depends really on if we need to if we need the money initially and then there's the storage option so we need to consider that as well uh, I don't believe I don't believe this farm has a silo initially so we're going to have to purchase a silo so um that's going to be another outlay which i've just only really considered yeah, so we may have to sell some of the cereal to uh, finance our ventures initially but going forward I'd like a, um, to store it until the price is right so to speak so one more run maybe that would be cool might not be quite wide enough there we go here we go uh, lift and mow at the front so like we said To 
important that we get as much of this grass done as early as we can and then we can um, build the stocks really for Car stopped in an awkward place, but as per. So, uh, again, you noticed um, if there's animals not in the field, I'm not massive to close the gate. Um, you got working on the farm. The, obviously, the key points really have got to be as working as efficiently and quickly as possible. Um, so, my view is um, certainly on the day-to-day -day stuff is you. If you're working on the fields you'll, you'll leave the gates open you don't want to keep getting out of the tractor and shutting the gates the only reason you really do it is if there's animals or um, other instances of uh, how we do it but uh, so Just do the headlands a couple of times here just to prevent the worker from having any problems well hopefully prevent the worker from having any problems um, although I've uh, already noted on this map um, a few issues um, workers not really doing all the fields properly which is annoying um, hopefully it'd be an update to, to kind of improve that but um, Sometimes you just can't get the staff, can you? They're just not good workers. So I, I, I'm just saying that that's the realism. They miss bits. reasonable size fields um, not too big obviously with the small machinery we're using it's uh, it's enough work really to do all this and kind of with the time that you're gonna have um, I'm aware that we already going on quite well so I'm just gonna set that worker off there it'll probably miss a strip but we can cover that off. So, um, next task really for us is uh, to have a look at what we can do in terms of the combine. We're certainly not going to spend £118,000 on a combine. That header could be good though. The header is 7.6 metres at 21,000. Let's have a look how much the combines are. So, Combine is oof, could see it for a second. Excuse me. Oof. So seventy five thousand pounds for the cheapest combine, is that right? No, sixty thousand. Huge, isn't it? Sixty thousand for seven thousand. Well, that makes it kind of more viable than the four thousand nine hundred that we're going to have there for seventy-five. But my view is, how much is it to lease one? Um, I would think. Look, have a, a, a lease. 
three thousand pounds to lease that one. Three thousand one hundred. Um, how much are the bigger ones? We probably can't get the bigger ones in the farm, but um, fifteen thousand to lease that one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to lease the sixty thousand one. It's probably going to be the most realistic in terms of actually. Let's just check. 3,212. Oh. So actually, to, to lease it with a bin that makes it 12,000 is um, is really good. Uh, we don't need the engine size. 285 horsepower is fine. So let's have a look at the headers. So the headers are, again, are very costly. Even the 45 footer is. We don't need 45 footer. I'm just being unrealistic, really. Just, so the header costs as much. So the cheapest header is 25,000. And that will take forever. And then 21,000 for a 7.6 meters header. 7.6 meters, 20. Again, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, again, I think personally, um, if we're going to go with this harvester, then I think that. Two-wheel drive, 285 horsepower. See, procrastinating way, way too much. Um, Four thousand drugs behind thirteen meters. So it's eight thousand to take into account that. So I think either way, we're going to potentially end up with a reasonable bill so I'm just going to lease that I'm going to lease the harvester and I'm going to get on with it otherwise you guys will be asleep I'm going to make the extension and then I think this is going to be great fun trying to fit all this it's quite an old style harvester I'm quite uh, quite happy with this actually sounds great oh. the issue might be the car park is that small I can't get the Sound amazing though. Let's try and not dent the uh, new uh, 
New machinery. Otherwise, we'll be sent the bill. It's on demo. Oh, no. We've now got a lengthy bill. <laughs> That's the other thing I notice on this is the cars at that junction just absolutely fly out at you, which is uh, a tad frustrating. We haven't put the lights on. Let's put the lights on. They might see us. Now, uh, again, um, this sort of machinery, particularly in the UK roads, uh, is usual. It overlaps them, um, particularly with combines. Big machinery. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to... Oh, here we go. There's another car that's just about to crash into me. Um, I want to be able to get this done as quickly as possible. Um, I don't want to take a little more than an hour because the cost is is huge, really. Thank you, car. Uh, I've just noticed that uh, my mower guy's finished, but uh, because we're against the clock, I think um, it's important that we get on with this as quickly as possible. Um, and... We do as much as we can. Yeah. I know now we're running on the pavement. We're looking to run over the local pedestrians. So we uh, annoy the locals. A bit like Clarkson's Farm, I suppose. Big dig there. Brilliant series if anybody else is watching it. Highly entertaining. And in some respects, um, the reality of, of of British farming in in some ways, and the and the challenges they faced, he highlights quite a few issues issues in the second series. I'm not going to spoil it with any spoilers for you guys. Anybody that hasn't watched it yet, but but again, um, if you get time after you watch my video, of course, then uh, then by all means, uh, let us know what you think. And there's the entrance here on the left-hand side to the other, uh, the other farm. I have to recognise that the time it takes to drive down this road is, uh, is significant, to be fair. So we're going to go right here. And I think the gate's up here on the left-hand side. The gate on this field, if I remember particular. We can drive through the hedge. Again. Probably shouldn't. But there may be occasions that I just generally forget. Here it is. Here it is. Double gate, lots of room, and here I crash again. So, good turn in circle, let's go. Drop it off there. Oh, it's okay. The gate's open. Is all right, actually. It's not this field then. Let's unfold it. So we need to make sure the straw swath is on because it's oh, harvest is not unfolded. It's a rattly old header. So, 
Um, again, we go back to you don't want to see me harvesting all the time. I've been rabbiting on for a while now. So um, I'm going to harvest this field in utter silence. Jokes. And I'll be back with you shortly with this all spick and span. Or when I need to unload one of the two. Ciao for now. Well, I uh, welcome you back um, as I've nearly uh, completed this field. Um, what I didn't realise is time's got away with me, so this first episode is um, a lot longer than what I anticipated initially. Um, obviously, I've got to edit it and cut it down, so uh, I'll still be uh, there. So I think that's it. Um, i leave you on. Um, um, I've got a couple of things to show you off cam that i've done um so i think i'll leave you hanging really with that thought and um you'll notice a bit of money spent so till episode two you'll have to tune in and uh, find out what we've done good night and uh, i'll see you in episode two